with it. It was a reprieve in the FA Trophy, but a fairly brief one in the end. Uh, well beaten today? Uh, yeah, we were well beaten. Um, you know, their striker scores two better goals. Um, he'll be a very, very lucky man. He was a difference between the two sides. And what was you know, much of a scrappy game on a difficult surface. Um, no excuses. They were better than us on the day. But, you know, if you do take out five of your first-team regulars, you're always going to be up against it. And they were a big, strong, very, very experienced side and uh, two tremendous goals from their striker. Going down the slope in the first half, was that always the plan? Um, we were going to take whatever we could, whoever won the toss. We won the toss, we decided to play down the hill. Um, you know, I thought, you know, we contained them quite well, but the goal we scored for the, the first goal, I mean, it's a tremendous goal. And then Marco Van Basten-esque, uh, the second one, you know, he's got to take those away and try and keep them showing to his grandkids because they were absolutely outstanding. First one came from the corner that fell an absolutely fantastic save by Carlos Eager. You must have been pleased with the, with the way he came into the side and some of the saves he made. Yeah, Carlos come in and he's only a young lad, I think he's only 18. Um, you know, he's come from Chelsea, it's a total different environment to away to uh, the FA Trophy at Spennymore on a cold, wet, windy day on a, pit, on a pitch that he's got a one in six grade, I think. Um, you know, the, the, the save that he pulled off was outstanding. But from our point of view, the corner, A, it's a mishit corner, but the finish was, was out of this world. And, you know, sometimes you've got to put your hands up and say, you know, well done. As you say, the selection difficult today with the number of players injured, cut ties, and three of the players on the bench. It was always going to be a tough one. Ask. It's always a tough ask, but you know, we always say the, the lads who are given the opportunity, you've got to go and take the opportunity. And unfortunately, today, I don't think you know anybody really took any opportunities um, apart from the back four dug in and defended extremely well. But the difference was the two, the two outstanding goals. Um, you can't take that away from it. And the third one went in, the game was probably gone by then. And Carl was a little bit unlucky with that one. Yeah, I mean, as you said, I mean, he's, he's a young boy. He's come in and the, the saves he made, he'll, he'll be very, very pleased with his debut for us. You know, he's off now to Liverpool tomorrow uh, for a game on Monday, I believe. So, you know, well done to him and uh, thanks for Chelsea for letting us have him. And now back to the, the FA Trophy, out of the, out of, sort of big, out of the FA Trophy, now and back to the league next week in a difficult game at Eastleigh. Yeah, it's a difficult game. I said to the players in there, we've got to put that one, especially the younger ones, we've got to put it down to experience. Um, you know, I don't think, as I just said, we weren't particularly happy with our performance. It was a Brackley-esque performance from last season, but we came uh, back strong from that. We, as we all know, we finished third. You know, and our aim this season is to finish as high as we possibly can. I seen Wayne Brown on the bench. Was he, is he now fit again and comes, comes into contention? Was, was he there because there was... Well, he was, he was fit before the warm-up, and then he, done, he did his calf because I was going to bring him on. He said he had a sore calf, and unfortunately for Browner, he seems to keep on picking up little niggles. All right, thanks, Ian, very much. Hope, hope it was a good trip back. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Be a late one. Yeah.